damn it. So, yeah, I'll be playing this. <clears throat> A little background before we begin. I don't like this game very much. Like, at all. And uh, the reason I'm playing through it right now is, one, just to talk about the reasons why. And hopefully to refresh myself just on the specifics of the game. And uh, with the Looming uh, remake being produced. And just talk a little bit about that as well. Um, little background about my history with this game. I bought a Nintendo 64 when I was in middle school with money I had saved up thinking that the next Final Fantasy game would be on it because the Final Fantasy games were really really formative to me in my late grade school and all throughout middle school um, years and uh, I was ho horribly disappointed when I heard it was going that, that the new Final Fantasy game was going to come out on PlayStation and I had essentially backed the wrong horse. Uh, so I had all this time hearing about how great the game was going to be and how great the game was. And like I was so hyped up to the point that I somehow managed to get the pre-order exclusive t-shirt. I actually still have it to this day um, from... I think it was GameStop, I don't know, of Cloud, with, with Cloud on the back. I'm actually holding it right now with his AB blood type and all that other stuff. So when I got it and I started playing through it, um, I, I found myself initially excited and that excitement wore down over time as I played through. So, uh, I might as well just get to it, start playing the game, because uh, this is going to be pretty boring for anyone watching. Alright, here we go. Oh, 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 look at this. Fancy. Okay, I actually have to press a button to skip that screen. So this goes on for long enough, I mean, admittedly one of my favorite Final Fantasy games has a scene like this, but, yeah. We are in space! Or are we? <sighs> that early CG though. One thing that I have a little confusion on is the levels of technology in this game. It's like as we're going through Midgar, we see all those kind of mixed bags of vehicles and zoom out to this massive metal city. Surrounded by smokestacks one of which appears to be inoperable. Also, green aura is coming out of buildings. Shouldn't be, should be your first clue that something's wrong. We have a train pulling up. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow.
judo kick. A necessary flip to make the character look cool. Alright, newcomer. Alright, let's get the uh, running and here here the two guards seemingly ignored the character in front of me and now I got this. Okay, here we go. So I just want to show everyone that was complaining that this game was never turn-based. Um, a lot of people's gripe about the announcement on the uh, combat system for the remake was, oh my god, the way turn-based combat, as you can clearly see, I was in a menu waiting to activate my turn and I was still attacked. A, really a trophy already? A trophy for beating the very first fight in the game. And it's named after Rambo. Okay, whatever. Uh, level up already. And you also start off at level 6, which is kind of a little goofy. Kind of seems a little arbitrary, but I guess you level up to 7, so ooh, thematic. Um, now, in order to actually get it to be time-based, you have to switch that to wait when you're in menus, otherwise it'll just keep coming at you, but yeah, whatever. Um, keep moving. And here we go, time to give my character a name. There we go. Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing in Avalanche? Uh, he was in Soldier. Uh, okay. He quit and is with us now. I didn't catch your name. Time to name your character. Uh. It is what he is, but... Cloud. What a great name. And he's already unlikable. Like seriously, how could anyone like this character? He's already a jerk. See, now this tactic doesn't sound like a great strategy here. I thought I told you never to move in a group. You're infiltrating a guarded facility. <sighs> okay. I don't trust you, but I'm bringing you along and I'm giving you the most important tasks anyways. And, uh, Barrett's character is problematic because it just comes off awful. Oh, look, press the circle the button to run. Or I could just use the analog stick. Uh, oop, dramatic panning for those pre-rendered backgrounds. these awesome pre-rendered backgrounds. Oh, but it doesn't have analog movement. That's kind of a bummer. <sighs> right. Just that time waiting where no one's doing nothing is kind of torturous, actually, nowadays. Um, 
why is that even an option? Just give me the potion. It seriously seems like Cloud's the only person getting attacked here. And that's to make it feel like he's more important. Wow, what a miss. So, okay, here's the thing. A lot of people love the limit break system. I'm kind of met about it. The um, reason why is... It's, it's a different take on the desperation attacks that had a slim probability of occurring in Final Fantasy VI. Um, in fact, a lot of the stuff that you can talk about is pretty much an adaption of stuff from Final Fantasy VI. And, uh... The thing that was nice about the Desperation Attack is it was always a surprise. Um, this... The Limit Break System kind of actively discourages you from using it because it is such a boost in your ability to damage opponents that you want to save it for when you really need it, but you can't. So, I don't know. It's kind of... It's an interesting concept. I just wish it was implemented better. Did work for Syndra, you know. So this is some exposition to explain what's going on. So essentially, you start off the game as a mercenary who was hired to help out eco-terrorists. You are blowing up a building to save the environment, despite the fact that the consequences for blowing up the building could cause more damage to the environment. Think of how many people risk their lives just for this code. It doesn't seem like there's anyone in Avalanche except for the few people you meet in the story. I've got viewers! Hey, how's it going? Just open the dumb door. There's probably something down here, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time. Ooh. Phoenix down. Omega-5. Oh. Fatty acids. Where did where the fuck did bear come from? <sighs> right, right. <laughs> it's not my problem if all life on this planet dies, including me. Oh. Before the Robo Guards come, Robo Guards, to remove that little bit of doubt you might feel about attacking all the enemies. 
gets so angry he shakes his gun fist and becomes one with you again, despite never actually being in a party with you up to this point. So, oh, look at this lovely pre rendered portions of the screen I can go around. Oh, hey, now he's in the party. Nope. Ah, oh, with you, McWhipperstein over here. Ow. Got some mad evasion going on with these guys. certainly feel like I got some experience from that. One I will never forget. <sighs> this fucking game, though. Thanks! I would have never thought, that, thought of that. Just in case, I didn't change my dialogue. Now we got some, like, weird, vulgar looking bastards. These guys do more than two damage, they must be the real threat. So... I'm not entirely sure why W signifies to attack with both weapons, but okay. <sighs> Random battle! Attack from behind! Things that I didn't even have to press X that time. All that talk about ladders earlier from Jessica was just stupid. Might as well, there's a big threat coming up. That looks like an open doorway, but I can't go through it. Said I go across this bridge first. That's right. What do we got here? Restore materia. I think they changed that name. Do I not have the option to equip materia yet? 
Huh. Well, it's great that I picked that up then. All right. So that part where he didn't trust Cloud, he's now having him set the bomb. And this is probably the most logical thing Cloud says the entire game until you realize that one of Barrett's hands is literally a gun. And watch out! This isn't just a reactor. Yeah, sorry, I just had a migraine and a hallucination for a second. You fucked it, Cloud. Oh no, here it comes. So this is the first quote-unquote boss battle. Um, let's try using Bolt against the machine. I just noticed the music skip a little there. It's nice of the uh, game to telegraph who the boss is going to attack. Not that it really matters, because it's super easy. on the safe side. So that phrase there was just to tell me to wait like an idiot until it puts its tail back down. This is a common Final Fantasy boss trope, though, so can't complain too much about it. Here it comes! Oh, it's calm now. I like how it has to, like, turn its butt to stab him. Stab him. I'm just gonna go after Cloud again, because... The boss uses the, um... Flawed tactic that many people use. Don't attack the same target. to save it. That's nice. Yeah, take the weapon for Barrett. I like how it gives you this arbitrary timer to make it seem more, you know, suspenseful. It's really anything but.
so glad I wasted that whole limit break on, like, Minion McWeak face. But, you know, whatever. No control over that. Still can't go through that door. That's clearly open. Gotta save Jesse here. Her leg got stuck. Pretty spry for someone whose leg was just stuck in a freaking dirt. Why can't I go up the fucking ladder? You have to press X to go up a ladder, up and down a ladder. Oops. Thank you, camera angle. But for some reason, jumping over that gap, you just move the stick. Voldo is not much fun to fight. Jesse took the elevator and sent it back down for you. What a considerate person. Code deciphered? Weren't you... didn't you have them already? <laughs> Random encounter! <laughs> Just ridiculous. You just you see them walk into a room, let them open the door, let half the people leave, and then be like, oh, no, we're gonna fuck these guys up. Oh, fucking RPG logic. Jesse has a problem with getting with, with with her footwork. Let me just blew up one of the smokestacks there. <laughs> Never mind the harmful contaminants we just blew into the atmosphere by exploding a reactor. But you know the planet will keep going a bit longer, right? The bomb blew up <laughs> to a barrel roll. Good thing they had a second bomb for their exit strategy. Is 
See, now them separating here makes more sense than when they separated earlier, but you know. Awesome. Got four people leaving the scene of an explosion. This is in no way performed suspicious. All this devastation to this residential neighborhood. Oh, goodness. I don't know what happened! Yeah, I'll buy one because I'm not an ass, but whatever. Ooh. Everyone run away! Meanwhile, this person is just like, whatever. I'll just take a leisurely stroll out. Out on the town. Potion just lying on the ground. No one cares. Worst tag ever. Hey, you there with a suspicious sword. Super Runaway! Ah, fuck it. that this battle system is due to limitations of tech at the time, but if people really thought that the remake was going to keep this system, they were deluding themselves. Because, you know, the mass audience, this, even with a nostalgia factor, the mass audience would be like, oh, hey, this is really slow. So, seeing a spiced up battle system might be nice. Especially if you're playing the Final Fantasy XV demo. Which I think they're gonna go with. Although they did say they're working with the Kingdom Hearts team. So, the game might never come out. I'd still be okay with that. Oh no! They formed an almost complete circle around me. Uh, another train! There was a bomb! That went off and blew up a reactor, but let's keep the trains running on time. Also, if this was a passenger train, why would it have a card like this? So like, if it was a red, like a public transportation passenger train, having a cargo car like this doesn't make any sense. I... Ugh, I don't know. So now Barrett's suddenly so... They're, they're all concerned about Cloud, the mercenary who was a dick to them. And is only in it for the money. And they just worked with tonight. But, you know, whatever.
Oh, shock and alarm! I'm a show off. Yeah, I'd swear at Cloud too, Barrett. You were worried about me? Oh, that's cute. Out of their share. So, question. Where's the money in eco-terrorism? We're moving out on the moving train. Follow me. No, it won't. I'm sure the person who just tripped all the time uh, should be the one to close the door. Oh, and then she pulls her mom and, oh, your face is pitch black. Let me clean that up for ya. There you go, sweetie. Now go get your picture taken by the nice lady. They actively have a place called the Train Graveyard. Oh damn, guy with a gun on his arm came in. Let's let's all be intimidated by him. Oh, that's racist, dude. That is so racist. Must have a real calculating leader. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> it's a little late, dude. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know. Flashy stuff. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It's so mind-bogglingly stupid that I have to go through this. <laughs> Here's this shitty, shitty model of Midgar. <laughs> it's about one I don't give a fuck scale. <laughs> Here's some exposition to explain this dystopia we're in. Uh... <laughs> it's a whisper. So, by the way, that guy earlier was talking about how Man, those terrorists blew up the number one reactor and it's already in the papers! Like, they must have done that, I'm gonna say, maybe 20 minutes ago. And shit's like, already... that whatever. Whatever. Don't care. Let's look at what's next. The same picture. Oh, never mind. Here's the uh, some blinky lines. <laughs> I 
We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. That's right. This is the part where people have epileptic fits. I gotta probably talk to Barrett again and the plot will progress. Yep, there we go. accent. Hey man, some people like fucking pizza. So they're clearly having this conversation in normal speaking volumes, but if this is just a regular sized passenger train car, that guy who's referring, he's like all concerned about the tourists, totally would have overheard their shit and could easily report them. <laughs> Because they love the land no matter how polluted it gets. It's just a flawed idea. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's deep. Here's some pre-rendered CG of a train. Oh, I'm so sad. Let's open the train door up from like 90 feet away. Not conspicuous at all, Mr. Government Employee. Seriously, how does Barrett run around with a gun attached to his goddamn arm and not come off as suspicious? Again, not something you should be discussing in public with an earshot of someone who could report it. I mean, f fuck. Wow, that's romantic. I thought this guy was peeing in the corner. It turns out they're just looking at shit. So that's like the structural ble beam holding up the plate and that looks totally safe. <laughs> oh, 
Why not? Save again. Because, god damn it. He literally just fired his gun arm off indoors to kick people out. Who I'm sure were paying customers. One of which looks like a child. And it was a bar, but... Opening up, go away. The fucking store, huh? Or the damn store, probably. I don't know. It, it was a bar? Not a store. One doesn't usually go to a grocery store, buy a 12 pack of beer, and just sit there and get blitzed on it. No, you're confused. So here's the thing, Tifa, she's Cloud's childhood friend, and has the most confusing narrative qualities as a result. Yeah, why not? Not. Let's indulge in booze all. I'm a sloppy eater. Fucking bull comes in. Hold on to my gun, honey. God damn. What if someone got angry at the pinball machine? I mean, seriously. She knows he wasn't, but she's putting up with this bullshit. I mean, really. Sir- Ugh. Once I get the money, I'm out of here. I 
Are you feeling it right? Because you're fucking delusional, is what she should have said. Sin. You fucked it. Take that, camera. You're a terrorist. You fronting? Least intimidating lean ever. He doesn't care about either of them, but he identifies as the next soldier because it's a lie that he was obsessed with. I don't care about anything because I'm angst. got nothing to do with me. I don't, I'm not even from this planet. I mean, seriously. I could leave any time I want. You're just gonna leave your child and friend? Do I feel like being a dick or whatever? Look, the well that we teleported to somehow. So it was seven years ago. He's supposed to be 21. He was a shitty teenager back then. He's still kind of a shitty teenager now, but yeah. I have a shitty ponytail.
just like plot device. damsel in distress be my knight in shining armor cloud <sighs> awful So he essentially left for this awful city when he was 14, 15 years old to train and join the military. And what? I don't even. I don't. Ugh, I don't even. I'm not a hero or am I famous? I can't keep our promise cuz I'm a I'm a flimsy idiot. Nope. <laughs> Fuck the elevator. <laughs> Allow me to place my gun into my chest to throw you money. <laughs> So she uses G's. <laughs> Man, what a bender. How'd I end up back down here in the awful basement? A pig. Tutorial. Oh, I'll explain how things work. Please go faster! Oh, good god! Oh, good god, this menu... Oh! Please! Please! Ring, ring, ring. 
Oh, red guard. Explaining that it changes shit. So, I once had someone explain to me that Yeah, whatever. Don't forget! Alright, I'll just manage the bar, because I'm a child! Alright, so, anyways. Yeah. Go ahead, unequip everything, so... I had someone once tell me that... Material was like a quote-unquote double-edged sword because it affects your stats, but There are ways to balance them out so It's kind of Kind of dumb um, Anyways moving on Weapon shop upstairs. Why not buy more stuff? It's like Oh wow, I am just not paying attention to which buttons I'm pressing. So anyways... care. Should I wanted to read? Not should I wanted to read at all. Please stop, please. Good God. Wait, no, there was materia in there. I should probably pick it up.
There, now everyone has some. We're all special. Get out of my way, kid. I can't sell the Gatling gun. How sad. Um, I don't really care to buy another material yet. Sorry, old man. Ain't buying shit from you. Get on the train! Better still running despite terrorists. God, I just have all the luck! Violence solves all the problems. Oh wow, nothing... It's fucking... awful. Just awful. Connecting the cars, so that they, they actually disconnect the cars at this fucking what? Did you already explain that? This is a good plan. Let's stick with this plan. Let's look at this awful screen again. Come a little closer. You've been duped, boss! Less time explaining, more time running.
You know, if they move up, car bike. Just knock that dude out. Soldiers just sitting in the train. Don't mind us. We got no time for that. Watch closely. to the awful ground. Fucking found sky seahorses. Convenient ladder for a dead end shoot. up that ladder but there's so much more platform to explore sea creatures sea creatures of the sky right <sighs> hell bubbles It's 
one thing I don't miss is having to adjust positioning when you're attacked from behind. One improvement in modern games that I actually really enjoy. Definitely some sound errors in there. Goodness. Tiff is only level five. They said the ID scan, they were going to have to jump before the ID scan, and that the ID scan came early, but she just said that it was because she modified the ID that the alarm went off and I have to go through this. It, consistency in the logic behind what's going on would be lovely. Save point. Awesome. Because I've had about enough of I can stomach today. Get attacked from B. Nope, nope, not from B this time. It's a really dumb intro. So wait. It automatically did it on them all that time and then I couldn't... whatever. problem I have is just the material system in general, but I'll get into that later. For now, I think I've had about enough. So, uh, yeah. It's the, um, end of that. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I will come back and my intention is to actually ugh, to play through this entire thing and just talk about it but because I, I enjoy punishing myself for some reason uh, but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go ahead call it a night for now got a nice early morning tomorrow so I would uh, appreciate some rest Ooh. <sighs>